My name is Martin Dollinger. I'm a theater major, and my IS concerns the feeling of authenticity created by the mockumentary genre. This culminated in a short two-episode film project about the school newspaper. A mockumentary is basically a fictional work using a documentary format, so the camera person kind of becomes another character in the show. I've actually been done with my page for like an hour. I'm just waiting to get the edits back. Is this, this for a class or something? You're probably most familiar with NBC's The Office that uses this sort of genre. I started watching The, the Office a couple years back, I, and I really liked the film style, and I wanted to do something similar for my IS. It's not about filling space, it's about journalism. Alright, so we're supposed to have a story list done by every Sunday, but I mean, as long as it gets done by Wednesday, there's no big deal about it. I did not hire her. I don't know what Sam was thinking when he brought her on. We needed people. Half of our staff went abroad, and Clark's interview process was scaring people away. There are 12 things wrong with this front page. You have three minutes to find them. Good luck. After most of the research portion of my IS was done, I didn't really have time to sort of make a script and then go through a long audition process to get characters for it. So instead I just asked people who had time to do it and we sort of worked on making characters together so they could um, create characters that they'd be comfortable playing. Uh, even after making the script I left parts of it open for improvisation to sort of give it that feeling of spontaneity that the mockumentary genre has. I had a great time working with these characters. I'd never written an entire script before, so it was good to have these characters to work with. Uh, here's a short clip from my second episode. All right. Even Andy has a full story list this week. Which brings me to the next order of business. Even a full paper is no good if nobody reads it. I think I might have been written for it, like, freshman year. I haven't read it in, like, a really long time. They were really good for carving pumpkins. Yeah, but we don't really read it. Not really. I just read the sports section. Some people read it. Yeah, I read the paper every Friday. Sometimes I don't even read it. <laughs> I went with Sam to take the paper out on Friday. Over half of them were still there. Over half. It can't be that bad every week. Okay, to be fair, it was a pretty slow news week. I mean, our front page story was the search for the new provost. What's a provost? It's not like, uh, it's kind of like a dean. Like, think like an administrative assistant with... No, oh, no, it's... like a registrar. It's like a, it's a fungus that grows Okay, on either way, we need to find a new way to get new readers. Um, in Europe, I know that a lot of newspapers have, like, pictures of, like, Busty, like naked lady. We need to find a way to get new readers. <laughs> or we could do a crossword puzzle, like the New York Times. That's that's not a bad idea. Only one of us would have to make it up ourselves. I mean, otherwise it'd be copyright issues. <laughs> Even you can't have that much free time on your hands. I make Sudoku's in my spare time. Actually, I really enjoy it because it's like copy editing, only converting numbers to a Sudoku style guide. And I've also got a hexadoku and letter dokus that I made up myself. And a bird. We could put sports on the front page. That's what most people read anyways. Yeah, and, and it gets the best pictures too. Or, or I could do a, like a weekly gossip column, like the buzz with B. Get it? <laughs> B? I'm not turning our paper into a tabloid, much less one with a cheesy pun in it. And. Aww. For so many reasons I'm not even going into, we're not putting sports on the front page. Now, does anybody have any real ideas? Uh, <clears throat> do you guys have this place signed out? We have this place signed out every Sunday until 6. Uh, well, it's 6. Juggling Club's meeting here now. The Juggling Club? Isn't the ceiling kind of low? <laughs> no, it's, it's a budget meeting. Uh, yeah, mostly we just discuss what kind of stuff we want to buy for the club, like uh, rings or pins or knives or torches, that kind of stuff. Um, Joe, Joe's been pushing for a unicycle ever since we started the club. I don't think we're going to get one, though. Uh, we don't really juggle unicycles. Uh, go ahead, make your ball jokes. Well, speaking of balls, so 
A okay. priest walks into We're a bar. Here. I expect everyone to be here early on Wednesday so we can hash this out, all right? Send emails to the listserv, too. I want ideas, people. I'm putting out a paper if nobody reads it. Even though the Worcester Sound and its staff are entirely fictionalized, I still based a lot of the story off of my experience as the arts and entertainment editor of our actual newspaper, The Worcester Voice. I did have to cut down the staff from about 18 to just 6, so that changed the character dynamic a lot. Um, but I think we still kept a lot of what actually happens in The Voice in my work. For example, at Edboard, which was the scene you just watched, uh, we actually have that to figure out who's doing what stories and things like that. Um, we do tend to uh, get sidetracked a bit. Um, we've done four or five stories on the school's provost, and the staff still doesn't fully understand what a provost really Our is. Our front page story was um, search for the new provost. What's, what's a provost? Jonah, our editor-in-chief who played Clark, um, he really is kind of anal. He's not as bad as the character he played, but if you knew him, you could kind of see that he's essentially he playing himself. Absolutely not. The Board of Trustees reads this thing. The whole thing, though, was to create the feeling of authenticity, to create something that looks like it could have actually happened. The independent study prog process has been a very rewarding experience for me. Uh, to start with this big idea, follow through with it, stick to a schedule, and accomplish something huge has just been fantastic. I've worked with some great people, my advisor's been very helpful, and now I feel like I've got this product that I can show to people. It's, a, it's, it's an accomplishment with my signature on it. And that's what the IS program is really about. Just giving us the tools and the confidence and the mental capacity to take a large project, split it down into smaller pieces, and follow through with the whole thing. And after this first success, I feel I can only improve.